Hey guys, if you're interested in learning how to highlight and or contour your face, stay tuned. So first I'm going to take some LA Pro Girl Concealer in a shade that is a couple shades lighter than my skin color. One that is close to my skin color and I'm going to mix the two. Because the one that is lighter than my skin color is in porcelain, is a little too light for me and causes my face to look way too dramatic for an everyday thing, I mix these two. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it in a triangle shape under my eye. I'm also going to take that and put it down the bridge of my nose, on the middle of my forehead, if I can get enough product. I'm going to go ahead and put it right on the edge of my jawline and on my cupid's bow and chin. And then, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and take the other color that is close to my skin tone in warm beige, and I'm going to go ahead and mix it in with the lighter color that is on my face already. And all of these areas that you see highlighted right now are the areas that you'll need to highlight your face. This is every area that you need to put a cream highlighter in in order to do an extreme or full face highlight and contour. So now I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and I'm going to spray it just a little bit with some water. We want it to be damp but not too wet. We need it to be damp so that these products can loosen on our face and blend just as well as we need them to. I'm going to tap away at every place that I put that cream highlight in and we don't want to swipe at all. We want to just tap because swiping will leave harsh lines on your face that we do not want. Notice that I'm tapping more so on the edges and the outside of where I put the product opposed to the dead center. We're going to tap a little bit on the center but not as much because we need the edges to blend as much as possible because the ends of where it is on your face is where it's going to start blending with your foundation and or your contour. So we need that to be as smooth and as blended as possible. Now this spot is where blending is the hardest because this is where it tends to crease at. So you're going to tap a whole lot more than you would on any other place. And under your eye you can go ahead and grip it a little harder and tap a little firmer and slide just a little bit. Do not swipe but slide so that the creases under your eye don't end up looking like creases. Now just to make sure this is going to turn out how I want it to, I'm going to take my Eco Tools buffing brush and I'm going to go ahead and buff off the edges again of where I put all of that concealer at. Now I'm going to take another LA Pro Girl concealer in the color Toast, which is a couple of shades darker than my skin tone as you can see, and I'm going to place it right down the side of my cheek where my cheekbone would rest. If I were to make a fishy face or a kissy face, which helps a whole lot when you do this, you'll see exactly where these colors need to fall. And I put it just above that line so that it falls right into the shadow when I blend it out. Then I'm going to take it and put it along my jawline to define my face a little more and make my face shape a little sharper. And I'm going to put it in my temples on the top of my forehead and again on the temple on the other side of my face. Then I'm going to drag it in a little bit towards where the arch of my eyebrow comes up on my forehead. And I'm going to take it down the bridge of my nose. I'm going to make a cross on top of my nose that leaves just a little space of highlight on the lowest part of the tip of my nose. Now I'm going to go back in with my beauty blender and tap everything out just as I did before. Now if you're like me and you put way too much on your nose every time, go ahead and swipe that off in the direction of the line that you put it there in. That takes off a lot of the product so that you can then tap the rest in like you did on the rest of your face.
So when you think you've tapped sufficiently, go ahead and take your buffing brush and blend out everything again, just on the edges so that everything blends smoothly. I tend to save this part of my face for last because it's where I put the most concealer at generally. And I'm just gonna tap it as lightly as I can. I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple more of those faces so that I see the shadow that it needs to fall into while I'm blending. It's also really helpful if you use the very tip of the Beauty Blender, the point on the Beauty Blender will help you direct it exactly where you wanna go. Also turn it the opposite way so the tip is pointing towards your mouth so that when you drag it backwards or you tap backwards, it takes it very smoothly and lightly in the shape that you put it on your face. One step that I like to do when I highlight and contour is add blush to my face. This is the Fit Me blush and I have no idea what color. I hope you can see that. But I add just a little bit of color back to my face right on top of where I highlighted and contoured on my cheekbone. On my cheekbone, the highlight and the contour comes together and I'm gonna go ahead and put that blush right where those two should have met. With the help of this fluffy blush brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend that out and make sure everything looks just as blended as I need it to be. Then I'm going to take another blush brush, wow, say that three times fast, and I'm going to use my Baked Bronzer by Ulta, and I'm going to go right on top of where I put both the blush and the contour. This is going to help accentuate my contour and help blend the blush out a little more. And just to add a little glow, go ahead and add that anywhere else you put the contour at. So after I finish blending everything out, because blending is key to highlighting and contouring, I'm going to take this Ulta eyeshadow in whichever shade I just showed you and this foundation brush that I got out of my local beauty supply and I'm going to pat that right on top of my cheekbones where the light would hit. Anywhere that your face comes out more, if you were to look at your profile, that's exactly where you want your highlight to be. Anywhere that the light is going to catch your face, naturally that's where you put it. And I'm going to go ahead and add it almost everywhere that I went ahead and put the cream contour and highlight on. So I'm going to take this brush one more time and blend all that out so it doesn't look like I just have a pound of cake and glitter on my face. So we're not, we're not doing all that. And there it is. Now this step, not everyone does, but I like to do, I like to add that same highlight right above my eyebrow and right under my eyebrow. I saw Arnell Armand do it and it looked so good on her face, so I did it and I love it on my face. So if you'd like to do that, go right ahead. And that, my friends, is how you highlight and contour your face.